doesn't just apply to cancer, ladies and gentlemen, it applies to heart disease. There's a 30, there's a 40% reduction in death, risk of de in deaths from cardiovascular disease by just taking omega-3. There is not one prescription medicine, not one, that reduces risk of dying from cardiovascular disease by as high as 40%. The best is 30%, and most of them are 20. So, so if you know a means to reduce risk, particularly if A, you're overweight, you drink too much alcohol, you don't exercise, you have a high-stress job, take omega-3 fats, take coenzyme Q10, take rhodiola rosea with, with ashwagandha because it protects your heart from stress. Research published in the New Scientist 2004 December edition uh, published research that was originally reported in, in Ju February or June that same year in the Journal of Epidemiology that showed that stress in the workplace, the stress of meeting a deadline in the workplace, increases your risk of heart attack by 600% the next day. And that ongoing stress in the workplace, not the necessarily very high stress of meeting a deadline, but that ongoing stress in the workplace increased risk of having a heart attack by 300% the next day. And that was in men and in women, not the next day, on a, a continuously. Continuously, you had an increased risk of heart attack by 300%. And this was men and women. And this is the first time research has been published to show that stress in the workplace increases risk of heart attack. Before it's been known that financial worries, and it's been published, that financial worries increase stress. It's been shown that marital problems increase stress and, and can increase risk of, of heart attack. But the first time that work stress can do it. And the reason is, and I'll get into it a bit later, the reason is because of two hormones that are released during times of stress called cortisol and adrenaline. And these hormones directly damage the heart and damage the brain. And if you fall into that situation, there are herbs you can take, rhodiola, rosea, and ashwagandha, that suppress cortisol and suppress adrenaline, reducing risk of cardiovascular death through stress. Now, that's different to something like a Valium or something like, a, like a, even a herbal product that works just on the brain, blocking your interpretation of stress but doing nothing to the adrenal glands to bring the hormones of stress down. In other words, your hormones of stress still remain high, but your brain is not interpreting them. But your heart is outside of your brain. Your heart is still affected by those high levels of cortisol and adrenaline. That is why preventive medicine or natural medicines often treat the cause of the problem, which in this case is heart damage through cortisol release as a result of stress, as opposed to the symptoms, which is just numbing the interpretation of stress. So if you fall into that category, please go onto our product, which is called Stress Damage Control, because it contains those two herbs, not just for the symptoms of stress, but to actually reduce the consequences, cardiovascular and, and brain consequences of stress.